Hi you guys, it's Friday here and I am back. As you can see in my title, I went to Japan and this time I thought I would do gift ideas that you could get if you go to Japan and you're bringing it back to the United States or any other country that wouldn't have um, these things. And um, I never thought of it before, so instead of doing a haul, I will just show you some things that maybe you would like to try or a gift to other people. To start off, I would say for the girls to get one of these masks. Now, also it was happening in Korea, but they had these tiger masks, which kind of looked similar to this. But in Japan, they have the traditional Japanese girl, or they had like a little bit of a what do you call it, a masquerade type of mask. And then they also had limited edition ones which I wasn't able to get my hands on, but they have one where it's Kiss, like the band, so you can have a facial mask looking like you're part of the band. Um, they also had different characters, Japanese characters and stuff like that. Again, I wasn't able to get a hold of these things because I did my gift shopping on the last day, which was my fault, but um, I gave these to my friends already and they love it. They think it's hilarious and you get really nice glowing skin the next day. So I think for a girl grabbing maybe two or three of these for her would be great. Um, one tip that Asahi, my friend, gave me was if you are going to get one of these Japanese um, girl masks, face masks, then um, she recommended to get one without a hairline on the top because if you have that hairline and it doesn't match, then it kind of looks very funny. Um, so she said to just get one that's white and you'll get the whole effect. Gift idea number two, some character goods. Um, I am showing you right now gutetama, which means gute is like just kind of spread out or lazy and tama is probably short for tamago, which means egg. So it's a lazy egg. Apparently it has a voice of an old man and it's a new character from Sanrio. Um, that, but they had them everywhere and I thought it was just super, super cute because you can get like notebooks and tote bags and t-shirts and stuff like that. But instead I opted for the little toys because you never know what's inside. So it's kind of like a surprise and they're just like fun little collectibles to have. So I got one for my friend who doesn't like egg, <laughs> but he likes gutetama, and um, they're just really, really cute. I mean, you can't really find that kind of thing here in the United States, so I mean, it's really rare, and the egg is just super cute. He's not wearing any clothes, so usually you can see his little tush hanging right there on top of the food. Another one, uh, this one, which is the Fujiko cup, cup no Fujiko, which means um, cup Mrs. Fujiko. Um, this was trending maybe a year or two ago where you would open it up and you don't know what's inside, just like the other one, and she just hangs over your cup. <laughs> she is wearing like a, oh well, like an office lady. Um, uniform or a suit or something like that. I just thought it was really cute. Um, I picked one up for my friend and he thought it was hilarious <laughs> because it's like, what's the meaning? What's the purpose of this? And I, in my mind, I'm thinking she's just keeping you company around your office area. I don't know if that's right, but um, yeah, it is it is another toy and these little like character things that you can't find in the US and only in Japan and it's trending in Japan are kind of interesting to me so I thought it would be a cute idea. So I got this one is the second version that came out um, of this cup thing. It's just so funny. She's holding cherries and she can be sitting on your cup. And then this one is a Hello Kitty one and these I actually got for myself so I haven't opened them yet. I will check them out. or. Should we open this together? Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know what she is doing, actually. It looks like she's, she's kind of going like this. And you can see her panties. I don't know. <laughs> How is she supposed to be sitting? I have no idea. How? What is she? Is she supposed to be holding a straw? And you can totally see. <laughs> in her dress. I don't know what she is doing. 
but I should probably put it on um, a cup like this and she'll be sitting on the rim of it like that. Thoughts? This next item was definitely a lifesaver from, again, Asahi. And in Kitty Land, there's a whole wall full of these things. It's sushi gummy or make your own candy donuts or they even have fast food like hamburgers or pizza. Um, what? <laughs> what comes in the package is everything that you can make the what's on the cover so all of this is candy and it's all the grape flavor but I actually made this with my um, friend's little girl and all you have to do is add water so there's powders in there and it tells you how much water to put in and you can create like little ikura or maguro like the tuna or the egg um, it was a lot of fun making it Eating it, uh, I was uh, kind of grossed out about it, but the little girl just gobbled it up. She loved it. The instructions are only in Japanese, in the back and inside, but if you do go to Kitty Land and you ask for English instructions, then they have copies of everything by the register and they will give you um, a copy for each box that you buy. So all of the gifts that I have given so far have been with English instructions. Definitely might be a lot of fun if you have kids or you have, um, you want to gift your friend's kids something. She was all about it and she loved it. And for other options for the donuts, I think it's not just only adding water. You might have to use, oh no, this does say just with water, but um, they had cake and they had something else where you had to use the microwave or you have to use the oven. Um, I, I don't know, they're so cute. It's something that you can do, you can interact and make and then eat afterwards, so. And they're cheap. They're only like 280 yen, which is like $3 a box. So, yeah. I also heard that um, Ryan Higa, his mom, bought a lot of these as gifts to bring back to the States. For the next item, you can never go wrong by just walking into a convenience store and seeing what's limited edition. And they had all these new different candies. In Japan, they come with different limited edition flavors like for every season so every month or every few months they have a new flavor a new something or they collaborated with this different thing and they always try to make it fresh and new so that you'll always keep buying the product and these are the ones that I've never seen before and some of them say limited edition some of them don't so I they're probably just new snacks but I know that I can't get these um, in little Tokyo or anything like that because they're still new so just grabbing these little snacks and giving them away is also a big good gift idea because one, they're small, easy to carry, and who doesn't love chocolate? If you don't know Takenoko, it's like a popular um, chocolate thing that they've had for years. But this one is more of like the adult version. And then Koron, which I know the name is like, what? Col Col Colin? <laughs> Weird, but um, I've never seen double chocolate ones and that looks yummy and I'm a big fan of Milky and this is the Milky Ball. So it says there's white chocolate on the outside and biscuit on the inside. Sounds so good. So I got these for myself and a few for my friends. Which by the way, I'm really into this Otoko Umegumi, which means like man plum gummy and it's sour plum gummy cubes they do taste a little weird at first maybe but i love ume or sour plum so these are just so so good i've been eating these a lot socks this is actually a gift that i got from my friend but i remember every time i went to japan i would go to the sock store because they have so many cute socks that you can get three pairs for a thousand yen which is ten dollars and the variety of socks that they have in japan is like nowhere else korea had socks but it wasn't 
I, I felt like there wasn't as much variety and I feel like Japan they just think of everything if you want to be cute if you want to be sophisticated if you want to be cool like they have a sock for everything and I remember I would always buy my friends socks so socks are also a great idea these ones my friend gave me are more of a traditional Japanese tabi so that's for the big toe and for the rest and they're very Asian-esque but they're so cute like this would be so cute with a pair of sandals during the summer or any time actually so socks would be a great gift if you want to go more traditional style then you can grab some tenugui's which is basically like a big handkerchief um, but there's so many ways to use these it's super long like this actually folds out one more time so it's really really long they're really pretty if you find really nice ones I know that um, some of my friends actually frame them and you know use it around the house um, some of my male Japanese friends actually carry this around as a handkerchief so sorry now that I fold it it's not as pretty but um, yeah so you can use it as a handkerchief for a girl during the summer we can use this as a little towel or you can even put like a little ice pack in there to kind of cool yourself down at least that's what my friends in Japan do um, another creative thing that you can do with this is you can wrap um, little gifts so let's say you have a box or you have a bottle of wine or something then you can put it in here and there's a way of tying it that you can actually carry it and use it as a bag and then also give it as a gift so there's just so many ways of using this and it's traditional Japanese tenugui and they have so many colors and patterns and th these ones were actually from Asakusa so they're more of a traditional old-timey type of feel but um, I know that they do have some Tenugui stores in like Harajuku and Shibuya and they have more of like a um, more of a modern or younger feel so they have some with skulls or with cherries strawberries um, really cute bunny rabbits stuff like that but these were actually given to me and I thought these were great ideas this is really cute which I never knew there's the character E on here and there's 10 of them and so E right and then 10 of them is um, to like to like 10 and then she there's another character here so it says itoshi which means like I miss you or I love you type of thing and I thought that was so like romantic and special like you wouldn't even know I just thought they were um, like a plant or a flower or something but it actually means something and I thought that was really adorable and last gift idea for the day is stationery how can you not go to Japan and not grab a notebook or a sticker or washi tape or some sort of paper goods stationery um, if you go to loft Tokyo hands you know what if you go to any department store they're gonna have like a little stationary area where you can pick up beautiful cards they have just so many unique ideas and they're so colorful and playful but if you're more into the modern slick side they have that type of thing as well um, but yeah you can never go wrong with stationaries. you can grab your friend some cool origami paper or some stickers for their scheduling or just some cute thank you notes like how cute is that it's a band-aid thank you note that you put inside a band-aid package there's so many there's just so many it's endless and pens I'm a big pen freak I love pens and pencils and crayons <laughs> so if you go into the store you might be a little overwhelmed but whatever they usually have in the front is usually the the newest thing or whatever is big and trending so it's always worth something to check out and also it's really good like if you want to just grab a notebook and you can just kind of start journaling your trip to Japan taking pictures and sticking them in there with little stickers and washi tape and oh it's just endless so stationary for sure 
would be a great gift for anyone. All right, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I gave you some ideas for gifts while you're in Japan. I'm sure there's many, many more things that I can think of, but these are just some of the ones that I picked up that I thought were not heavy, were not big and bulky, and you could grab a lot of them to give around, which is what I did during this trip. I actually didn't buy myself a lot of stuff. It was mostly just I wanted to grab stuff to gift. So hopefully um, you'll use my little list of ideas. If you have any other ideas, let me know because I would love to add that in there and I can put it up on my blog and share with everyone. So yeah, and if you do go to Japan, have an awesome trip and enjoy the food and the people and the atmosphere. You're gonna have so much fun. All right, thank you for watching my video. Subscribe if you haven't and thumbs up if you liked it. I will see you very, very soon. Bye. Good morning. Today is Thursday morning and yesterday was actually a family day. Some of you may know, but I lost a younger brother and yesterday was the seventh year that he wasn't here. Um, so we always do a family get together.